5.9 D. Carbon Dioxide and Oxygen Cycle In this activity, students observe the production and collection of gas bubbles given off by photosynthesizing aquarium plants. Prepare the following items in advance for each group in your class. Transparent test tubes with lids, LED aquarium plants, a clear container, gravel for the container bottom, water, scissors, small plastic baggies, bromothymol blue, and a small graduated cylinder. Let's first explore photosynthesis in a test tube. Prepare the water container with enough tap water to submerge the plants and test tubes completely. Place rocks or gravel at the bottom to hold test tubes in place when submerged. Select one Elodea plant. If too long, use scissors to trim the root end of the branch. Insert the plant with the cut end last. Next, submerge the test tube and fill with water, avoiding any air bubbles. Seal the lid and secure the tube in gravel so that it remains vertical. Move the plants to a well-lit location near a window and explore Part 2. Photosynthesis using Bromothymol Blue in a small plastic baggie, pour 150 milliliters of water and submerge one Elodea branch. Add 10 milliliters of bromothymol blue. Close the bag, leaving just enough room for a straw. Blow through the straw for five seconds. Note how the color of the water changes from blue to green. Set the experiment aside for later observation. After a couple of days, repeat the exercise and compare the two baggies with your class. Students will notice how the water in the most recent test remains green from adding carbon dioxide, whereas in the previous test, the water turned blue over time due to photosynthesis. Finally, revisit the plants in the window. Carefully remove the test tube from the water. Count the small oxygen bubbles produced by the Elodea plants and record observations in the student journal.